Hi everyone, this is Anna Variano from Perfect Resonance Natural Health Counseling and today I want to talk to you about one of my most favorite fruits, the mango. The mango is loaded with nutrients and it's rich in antioxidants like vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, beta carotene, all shown to have anti-inflammatory properties in the body. So uh, a whole host of health benefits derived from eating a mango. It's also a really good source of fiber. It's good to eat just as is, fresh. You can put it into a fruit salad. You can throw it into a smoothie. And you know, fol folklore also says that uh, mangoes have properties that help to promote the health of the bowel, the health of the lungs, and also reduce heat in the body, including fever. Now, one thing that you might not know about the mango, and I learned this a, a while ago, is that it's related to poison ivy, poison oak, and poison sumac. You know, all those plants that we try to avoid in the woods, because if we touch them, we get an allergic reaction to skin rash, or sometimes even worse with blistering, etc. And, and that's because the chemical compound that causes that reaction in those plants is also found in the skin of the mango. Now, some people are so sensitive that they have to wear gloves to handle a mango. Um, luckily, I'm not one of them, and there are a few people that are that sensitive. But there are others that find that if their lips come in contact with the peel or the rind, as some call it, uh, that their lips start to feel a little bit itchy or burning, and some people even experience a bit of swelling of the lips. So one thing that you always want to do with a mango is to wash it first under some warm running water, rub a little bit of soap on it maybe, and you can actually see the sap coming out of the stem sometimes when you buy them. So you really want to avoid touching that. Um, in fact, I wash all of my produce when I bring it home. I just fill the sink up with some warm water, put a little bit of biodegradable cleaner in there, dump everything in there regardless of if it's a fruit that I'm going to eat with the peel on like an apple or one that I'm going to peel like a banana or a pineapple or a melon because you never know. You never know where those fruits have been. So I don't care if it's organic or conventionally grown. I like to wash uh, all of my produce in, in some water and a little bit of biodegradable cleaner before I do anything with it. Even if you have something with a rind on it and you don't wash it, you cut into that with a knife and if there's any kind of bacteria on the outside, it could get into the inside of your fruit. So it's a really good idea to wash all of your produce when you get home. So, a lot of people don't know how to get at this thing and it can be a little bit messy. So I'm going to show you a really cool way to get at the flesh of a mango. So I'm just going to cut. You want to hold it so that it's um, kind of, uh, I don't know how to explain that, but you want it to be uh, with the skinny side down, I guess, okay? And there's a nut in here. There's a seed, a big seed, that's flat in the mango this way. So you want to cut on either side of that seed. So we're going to do that. Sometimes you have to adjust the knife a little bit, but there we go. So I just cut one side off. Then I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to cut the other side off. And I'm just using um, a serrated knife. It's a steak knife. It gives you a nice clean cut. And thank goodness this mango is nice looking on the inside. It smells really good. It's always a little bit of hit and miss with mango. If you know how to pick out a really good one from a pile in the grocery store, please leave your comment underneath the video here. Okay, so then you take a paring knife and what you want to do with this piece that you've just cut is you want to score it. You're going to score it longwise, maybe about half inch, and then you want to score it the other way. And I'm using a really sharp paring knife here, so be careful. Okay. So once you've cut it into little cubes, hopefully, hopefully you can see that, I've made little cubes in here, you flip it inside out. So you flip it inside out and you get all of these nice cube pieces and then you take your knife and you just run it along and they kind of just slide out. You just cut them all out. This one's quite soft. Okay, run your knife along the skin. Got a little bit of skin on that one, so I'll have to clean it up. And you get all of these nice bite-sized pieces of mango. So you do that with the other side as well. And then with the part around the nut, I just take the skin off. So just peel the skin off. And then you can see what you can save from that seed. So just start slicing whatever flesh you can around the seed. Some people like to chew on the seed. Don't want to waste anything. You can see this one's really juicy. I'm really excited to eat it. So mangoes, excellent source of antioxidants, high in fiber, and delicious. Enjoy. Anna Viriano, Perfect Resonance Natural Health Counseling, partnering for a healthier, more vibrant you.